Hello, I am Ronan from Recording Bootcamp, and uh, in the more than six years that I've been doing my recording show, I've reviewed hardware, I've reviewed software, even studios, but I've never reviewed a deck of cards. I better stick to recording instead of gambling and magic tricks. Check this out. So what the heck am I doing recording a deck of cards and a show about recording? Well, this isn't any normal deck of cards. This is the Oblique Strategies. And what it is, is a project by producer, musician, artist Brian Eno, and a painter named Peter Schmidt. And basically, it is a deck of cards with possible solutions to your artistic dilemma. And the concept is you're at a crossroads, and this could be you're in the studio, two band members are just uh, head to head, not coming to terms on what they'd like uh, the artistic direction to go, or it could be just something where you're in your own home studio, you've been working on your own DIY project for months, and you know it's not done yet, it's not happening, and you just don't know why. So what you do is you reach into the deck, and randomly pick a card for directions. And these aren't going to be things like turn up the mid-range at 2K, 8 dB. It's going to be things like don't be frightened to display your talents. So what does this mean? Well, it means whatever the heck you want it to mean. So it could be something like, well, go ahead. Let's, you know, if the guitar player wants to do a shredding guitar solo, but the bass player doesn't, go ahead and try the shredding guitar solo. Or it could be things, so, you know, go ahead and maybe you're a flute player, but you didn't think that fit in your rock and roll record. Grab the flute and show that off. But really, it could mean anything you want. And the cool thing about the oblique strategies is not to go search through, oh, let me find a card that I like. The cool thing is to pull out the card and figure out a way to make that apply to the production you're working on. So let's grab another one. Would anybody want it? Again, maybe this is the kind of thing where your dilemma is maybe you're making something that's artistically cool, but not commercial. So kind of ponder that sort of thing, like what you're working on. Is it worth it? Is it gonna connect with people? Or of course, anything you want. And let's just grab one more. Breathe more deeply. You're gonna have to figure that one out yourself. So the cool thing about these though is really just to grab one card. Don't go through and browse, figure out, breathe more deeply. What the heck does that mean? How does that apply to the production you're working on? And see if it can create some interesting kind of artistic inspiration or kick in the ass. Uh, it can be cool, it can be fun, and a good way to get you out of a dilemma. So. These are kind of rare. The decks of cards are kind of rare. On the low end, they go for about 50 bucks used. On the high end, for older editions, they can be more than $1,000 used. But the good news is, <laughs> in our modern digital world, oblique strategies. Draw a card. A line has two sides. So again, you figure out what that means. This is the Android version. I'm sure there's an iPhone app, but check it out. Uh, it's pretty inspirational, can be both fun and help you get out of a creative dilemma. So that's it. Ciao, goodbye. And uh, again, today I'm at the beautiful Prost Docimi recording studio in North Italy and going back to Los Angeles tomorrow. A little bit sad about that, but I love my place in LA, so we'll be fine. All right, have fun. Stay focused on the music and remember to... Destroy nothing, the most important thing. All right, see ya.